see this person. As we have already studied, plants produce a large number of seeds so that these seeds may grow into new plants. Now, what if all these seeds fell under the parent plant? Need for seed dispersal Would it become very crowded? Yes. Would there be enough air, water, minerals and light for each of these seeds? No. The seeds will thus have to fight each other for the necessary conditions. Hence, the stronger seeds will live and the weaker ones will die. Therefore, seeds need to be scattered far and wide so that they can grow in less crowded conditions. What is dispersal? The process by which seeds are scattered or spread in different places which are suitable for their growth is known as dispersal. How do plants disperse their seeds? Can plants move in the same way as you can? Do they have feet that they can use to disperse the seeds themselves? The answer is no. They are fixed to the soil. So how do plants disperse or spread their seeds? Do they need help? Let us see. Agents for dispersal Plants take the help of external agents like wind, water and animals for dispersing their seeds. Some plants also have special organs or devices for scattering their seeds. These devices help to carry the seeds to places where they can grow better. In some cases, the fruit dries up and breaks open to scatter the seeds in different directions. Dispersal by wind some seeds or fruits have wings or patches of hair on them. Thus, they can be easily carried by the wind to suitable places. Dispersal by explosion In some cases, when the fruit dries up, the walls of the fruit curl and throw out the seeds. When these seeds are thrown, they are scattered far away from the parent plant. Here are some examples. The balsam plant disperses its seeds by exploding. The castor fruit explodes and spreads its seeds. Dispersal by animals Like all of us, Animals and birds also like juicy and tasty fruits. When they eat the flesh of these fruits, they reveal the seed which then gets dispersed. When we eat fruits, we either throw away the seeds or sometimes the seeds are swallowed by us or by animals. These seeds come out as species which fall on the soil and are then free to grow. Some dry fruits have hooks, spines, thorns or stiff hair on them. These get attached to our clothes or the fur of the animals or to the feathers of birds. They may later fall off at a distance where they can grow into new plants.
plants. Here are some examples. The seeds of a burdock plant have hooks. A fruit with spines. The fruit of a bonsai plant has thorns. Here is a fruit with stiff hair. Dispersal by water. Some fruits that have fibrous or spongy coats can float in water. Hence, once they fall, they get carried away by water to a far off shore where the coat falls off and the seeds can thus germinate. The torus or the top part which contains the seeds in lotus is spongy and can float in water. The seeds of a water lily are small and light. They are carried away by water currents. Let us do a quick recap. Seeds need to be dispersed to grow in proper conditions. Plants take the help of agents of wind and water, animals and explosive mechanisms. Types of dispersals include dispersal by wind, dispersal by explosion, dispersal by animals and dispersal by water. Feces The waste product given out by an animal.